Good morning again, everybody. This is now our part four of the second day dialects Evo training. So, okay, I hope you have now created the contour here and also here. So this is just same um, manner that we created for our small island. So yeah, I hope you created it now. And now we will proceed on how to create a driveway going to the basement this one and see now I have a small basement here let's go into the a driveway going to the basement and now this is what we are going to do I created this one using this cut out see now this is a cut out for the basement oops okay it's a cut out but before I do the cutouts, I have to make sure that my soil is thick, like this. Alright, so let's go and do it now. So let's go back to our original file and we will make our floor. Let's go and go back to our site tab and select this one, your site. And then go and make this floor as 2 meters height. Okay. But make sure because if you make this as 2 meters height, now your wall is gone because you make your soil very high. So to remove that or to adjust that, click it again and make this um, position as negative 2. So it means... Again, we are in the zero ground line. So after adjusting your uh, ground line into 2 meters height, we will now create our basement using the cutout tab. Using this cutout tab. And so let's start working on it now. You can use this cutout tab in your 3D uh, views, not in the plan views. You can only edit it in the plan view, but you must uh, select your first point on the 3D views. So, let's do it now. So, select the polygonal cutout and start cutting. And then start your point, 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 point. Let's just as assume this one for now. And let's close it so we can edit it into our plan view. See, now it's cut. We now have our basement. The soil is now hold. So we can go now and select this one and again edit it in the plan view. Now we can edit it in the plan view. So you have to imagine where are the parts which we need to cut. So these are the lower lower part of the site. So we need to cut this area including the stairs. So let's go now and start doing it. Do it little by little. Again, you need to be very patient on doing this one. So if you want to add points, just right click and add point. Add click and add right click and add point. Again. Again here. Oops, adjust it. Again. Okay, you can adjust it here. Uh, the more points, the longer it will take for the calculation to finish so make sure just maximize the number of the points so the calculation time will not be that longer okay so again be very patient on creating those points because your design will be very beautiful if you created those points in a proper location and then this one I think we have to stop it here and here and again here and this point because this is a part of the building that is lower okay I think this is fine and then right click again and then put another points there so either you add this one this curved um, fence here or you will 
just create an object on that later. So just proceed with this one and then right click, add more points, add more points, add more points, add more points, add more points. Add more points. Yes, okay, so I think we're done. So let's go to the 3D and see how it looks. Now it's open. Our basement is now open, but we need to um, limit limit this cut because otherwise it will be open at, up to the last end of the soil. So click on that cut out again, select it, and then limit the cutting depth into 1.9. So at least there's a 0.1 remaining on the soil. See, now this is the, the one I'm telling. Because if it's open, we cannot put texture on that. So let's go and select one material texture. So we will know that it is really not open. So there you go. This is now part of the basement. So, um, yeah. On the next video, we will create the ramp. Or you can uh, go to one of my video tutorials in YouTube that... This is the same projects which I created for this ramp and I will show you. Okay, so here you go. We are now in my uh, YouTube channel and you can see here now how to create a curved ramp. So when you click this one, it will show you how to create a curved ramp. Okay, you can go, um, you can check this one out. So we will proceed now with the other things.